Hey BirdTubers, uh, bringing you another update. Like I said, I'm still drinking on that amazing Stone Brewery IPA. I still have a full glass. I have already consumed Matt's uh, the Cherrywood Imperial. So, I like to not drink too much, but today we're doing a very special review one of my favorite shiners I should say um, he's a legendary he's you rate him he's popcorn Sutton Tim Smith you know what I mean that he's a he's one of the last of the dying breed then you have your newcomers kinda like me you have your legendary brewers then you have your great brewers then you have your upcoming amateur brewers I'm in that amateur league uh, compared to, you know, a lot of your brewers who've been brewing 10, 20 years. I'm on three, four months now brewing, and I've made a lot of good brew. But anyway, cut that crap out. This is Tim Smith's Climax Moonshine. It is a corn rye uh, barley. Let's look. Malted barley and rye. Yeah, and corn. I was right. It's his Climax Moonshine. I had a buddy who was down in uh, Tennessee, and it was kind of like for him, you know, he was going down to Tennessee. I knew, I know exactly what states they sell it at. So I was like, dude, you're down there. Grab me a bottle. I called four different liquor stores to find this moonshine. I've already tasted it, as you can see. It is an amazing moonshine. Support our moonshiners. Support our illegal moonshiners going legal. You know what I mean? Let's get this in as many states as we possibly can. Just because, if you like craft beer, you like a good fucking... Sorry, try not to cuss. You like a good liquor. You like a good, smooth moonshine. And you know what? There's not a moonshine around that's made like this. I made, I have made numerous batches. I actually made, I distilled it three times. I made a sweet grain whiskey. And I distilled it three times. It was 195 proof. It bobbed between 193 and 195. I took three shots. It ate six layers of my stomach. I was throwing up blood for four days. Before I went and had uh, uh, I don't want to say a colonoscopy but they went down my throat to my stomach and I can show you pictures I have you know paperwork and pictures to show that and they thought I was an alcoholic it's like no you know I just make very high proof fucking liquor and it's not like Tim Smith's liquor you know it's it you can run your lawnmower off that shit you know, I really haven't made whiskey since then. I've been in more of crafting my own beer. But I like a good liquor. I got Sugar Shine in my fridge right now. So, it's good liquor. But my buddy, like I said, was down in Tennessee. And I had to get Tim Smith's Moonshine. I'm in Missouri. I'm in Fenton, Missouri, St. Louis County. Uh, you cannot find it here. You can find it in like four or five states maybe now. Besides Virginia. Maybe Virginia now. I don't know. But let's go ahead and give us a little shot right here. You know, this is my Bush Mill Irish whiskey. I stole it from my brother. If I drink whiskey, I drink my own whiskey. I don't drink, you know, Bush Mill. I mean, it's good whiskey, but... I have a couple pints actually. Hold on. Wait one second. Let's sit here. This right here, baby. See this? This is homemade jack, pretty much. It's oak chipped. 145 proof. Um, it was 150. I downproofed it five. I like about 145-ish, 135, 10%.
but I made that myself from mash all the way to bottle and it's pretty good uh, but like I said let's get back to this man legendary man Tim Smith uh, went legal obviously which is a good thing uh, big fan of Tim Smith big fan of moonshiners uh, I watch moonshiners I learned how to uh, distill myself made a lot of liquor but I didn't make too much liquor where Missouri was like whoa 200 gallons is legal in Missouri to distill it is a law there is a section code for it you could distill up to 100 gallons per person 200 gallons max so me having my wife in here I can distill 200 gallons I do not have a still that big to do that it would take weeks to do but I distill you know gallon two at a time you know uh, in Missouri you can distill so many gallons per person there is a section code on that you can look that up people try to say that it is illegal to do that it's not on a federal level it probably is but on a state level I am okay I don't see any feds kicking in my door anytime soon which if they do they're not gonna find anything cuz I don't play where I sleep so we're all good there Stonebury IPA but let's get back to Mr. Tim Smith like I said my buddy was down in Tennessee I paid him 50 bucks it cost 31 32 tax I paid him 50 bucks to get it to me it was kinda like St. Louis driving to the east side that's the type of travel he had about 20 miles um, he picked it up for me though good friend awesome friend Tim Smith's Climax Moonshine we gotta get this in Missouri buddy Tim, if you watch this, you probably won't. You probably will never watch this because I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't have a lot of views. But if you somehow come across this shit, get it in Missouri. Big moon, moonshining state. I know numerous people that moonshine, that moonshine a lot in this state. Well, it's still not moonshine. Well, let's go ahead and take a drink. And, well, let's get aroma first. Let's do aroma. Take it slow and... Right off the bat, big, sweet. Corn flavor, which is good. Get that little bit of bite. It's probably the smoothest moonshine I've ever had. Uh, don't get me wrong, there's other moonshines that are on the shelf that are just as good. But this is... You take six, seven shots of this gonna be off in the woods laying in the ditch be like damn what did I do so very good you get that bite from the rye that that's I don't want to say spicy because you know obviously you know the moon trying to say the rye gives a spice I don't really feel the spice I feel the bite of the spice uh, that like ooh, damn that's like harsh that's where I feel the rye uh, you get a big corn flavor, but a big sugar flavor as well. Kind of like this. If you were to drink this, you would get a smack in the face sugar flavor. Um, this is a sugar shine. It is just your basic sugar shine on oak chips, which is really good. I mean, I enjoy it. You get really messed up off it. Uh, drink with responsibility. Don't be stupid and drive. I lost a few friends off drunk driving. My wife drives me when I drink. She's not a big drinker. She drinks now and then, but she is my designated driver. I do not drive and drink. Um, I have a minute and 40 seconds left to explain this to you. Tim Smith is obviously a moonshiner. And I'm obviously got a good buzz going on because I already told you that like three times in this video and it's already at 930. It is very smooth, very... Um, it doesn't have that bite like most liquors do. You can actually drink it and drink it on ice or like this. Uh, I chill mine. This is amazing. Get this product. It is amazing. But I got to go because I got one minute left. And I got a lot of videos to upload. Don't forget Stone Brewery. Tim's Climax. That's a good breed. 
you can't go wrong with that. You can have a good night with that. Enjoy. Drink responsibly. See you next time. I hopefully get to do a bunch of videos with you guys. I want to do a bunch of uh, extra kits. I am moving up to Mini Mash. So have a good day. Enjoy your day. Drink on. Drink responsibly. And rock on. And, uh, sorry. Enjoy your life. Have a good one.